Module 5, Lesson 4, Homework. Number 1. Each rectangular prism is built from centimeter cubes. State the dimensions and find the volume. So for A, we want to know the length. So the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's 5 centimeters. The width is 1, 2. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4. So then the volume, how we find volume, is by multiplying the length, the width, and the height together. So 5 times 2 is 10. And 10 times 4 is equal to 40. So it's 40 centimeters cubed. For B, the length is 1, 2, 3. The width is 1, 2. And the height is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. So the volume is 30 centimeters cubed. C, the length is 1, 2, 3, 4. The width is 1, 2, and the height is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8 and 8 times 4 is equal to 32. So the volume is 32 centimeters cubed. And the last one, the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The width is 1, 2, 3. The height is 1, 2, 3. So 8 times 3 equals 24 and 24 times 3 is equal to 72. So the volume is 72 centimeters cubed. 2. Write a multiplication sentence that you could use to calculate the volume for each rectangular prism in problem 1. Include the units in your sentences. So we're just going to write out in a full number sentence what we just solved. So for A we had 5 times 2 times 4 but it wants us to write the units. We have 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 4 centimeters is equal to 40 centimeters cubed. B was 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 5 centimeters and that was equal to mm, not 40, 30 centimeters cubed. C was 4 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 4 centimeters is equal to 32 centimeters cubed. Notice we have 3 centimeters that we multiplied together, which is where the to the third power comes from. And then the last one, we have 8 centimeters times 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters. 72 centimeters cubed. Number three, calculate the volume of each rectangular prism. Include the units in your number sentences. So we have 8 inches times the width 4 inches times 8 inches. Now 8 times 4, that's 32. So we're going to have 32 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So this is equal to 256 inches cubed, or cubic inches. You can write it out if you want to. They're the same thing. 3, the volume, so the length is 10 meters. The width is 3 meters, and the height is 7 meters. Now, yours can be mixed up, so you could have said 3 meters times 10 meters times 7 meters, or 7 meters times 3 meters times 10 meters. It's all going to be the same thing because of the commutative property of multiplication. It doesn't matter what order we multiply them in. So I'm going to, because I can easily multiply anything by 10, I'm going to do 3 times 7 first. So 3 times 7, that's 21 and 21 times 10 would be 210 meters cubed. And number four, Mrs. Johnson is constructing a box in the shape of a rectangular prism to store clothes for the summer. 
It has a length of 28 inches, a width of 24 inches, and a height of 30 inches. What is the volume of the box? So we have 28 inches by 24 inches by 30 inches. So this is just going to be a lot of multiplying. So I'm going to start with 28 times 24. 4 times 8 is 32, carry the 3, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11, put my 0 down, forget about the 3, 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, if I add these together, I get 672, so these are, is equal to 672, but I need to multiply 672 times 30. So first, I'm just going to multiply by 0, put my 0 down. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 7 is 21, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. So if we add that, we get 20,160 inches cubed. Number five, calculate the volume of each rectangular prism using the information that is provided. So the face area is 56 square meters. Now what that means is, let's look at one of these up here. So the face area would be the area of this right here, the face that you can see, or the area of this part right here. So it's already found the area, which means this, maybe the area was seven by eight because it's 56. Now, so that's already the length times the width, which means that we just need to take this and multiply it by the height. So this is actually easier because they've done part of the work for us. So all we need to do is 56 times four. So four times six is 24, carry the two. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So it's 20, 224 meters cubed. And B, so the face area, aka the length times the width, was 169 square inches. So 169 times 14. 4 times 9 is 36, carry the 3. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And I erase what I carried. And I'm done with the 4, onto the 1, put my placeholder. 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1. Add everything together. 7 plus 9 is 16, carry the 1. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. We get 2,366 inches cubed.